If you are interested in methods of torture, you may be curious about the eight most terrifying execution methods in the history of mankind. It may not seem like they are real, but we can assure you they are. Sit back and relax, because if you think you know what pain is, just enjoy our list of some of the worst punishments you could ever imagine. Number one, rats. Rat torture was first recorded in the 17th century under Dutch leaders, who used it against prisoners who threatened to overthrow the Dutch government. If you disobeyed the government, you were tied down to a wooden table. You would have a cage with a rat in it strapped to your abdomen. The cage would be heated, but not to your satisfaction. It would be the rat who would panic. In its fear to get away from a heated cage, it would chew through your skin to seek refuge from its tormentor. You, though, would have a rat chewing through your stomach and nesting in your abdomen. Cozy for the rat, not so much for you. So now on to the next most terrifying of the punishments in our countdown. Number two, death by boiling oil. Putting a murderer that everyone hates into a cauldron of boiling oil, water, or even tar was a crowd favorite in the Middle Ages. It was the most popular form of capital punishment in the year 1531 in England when King Henry VIII signed it into law. The punishment was designed to stop people from poisoning both royalty and the clergy officials of Great Britain. Warranted, yes, but can you imagine a kettle large enough to boil someone alive? And who would clean up the mess? Which brings us to one of the messiest and most terrifying punishments on our countdown. Number three, the Iron Maiden. If you can imagine it, the Iron Maiden is a sarcophagus looking cabinet with a hinged lid. It is designed to be just tall enough for a human being to stand upright if someone locked you up in it. And a claustrophobic would be terrified enough to be to experience one of the most terrifying punishments in the history of mankind. But wait, there's more. The interior of the door of an Iron Maiden is jam packed with metal spikes. And as the name suggests, the cabinet is made of iron. So there is no escaping once the lid is closed and the multiple spikes kill you most terrifyingly. The Iron Maiden was used in the 19th century as a torture device and also for executions. You can still view them in museums around the world. Number four, the guillotine. Ironically, the guillotine is one of the most deceptively terrifying punishments on our countdown. This is because with the guillotine, your death will be quick, but it will be public and humiliating. And the terrifying punishment comes in the fact that you have to wait around for it. You would no longer be clothed in your French finery. You would be a royal stripped down for the public to see you at your worst. The public who will be awaiting your death as sure as you are trying to avoid it. It was Dr. Guillotine who invented this device to make for quick deaths of those who committed high treason against the French government. He was a doctor who thought it would be a humane way of executing criminals, but it turned out to be the opposite. In 1789, he wanted the guillotine to be a humanitarian effort. Who knew the French Revolution was right around the corner? Not King Louis XVI or Marie Antoinette, both beheaded by guillotine. Number five, burning at the stake. Burning at the stake is really a form of capital punishment and one of the most terrifying of ancient execution methods. Because when you get tied to a stake and the villagers start a bonfire, you will burn to death while you are still alive. Treason is one of the crimes you can be burned for, but you could also have been burned at the stake for heresy. Heresy used to mean that you thought differently from established society. There is one thing you could have done, however, to get burned at the stake really quickly and that is to be suspected of practicing witchcraft or be psychic. Technically speaking though, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake for heresy in Rouen, France. No one thought she had any visions that were credible. From approximately 1580 to 1630, many people, mainly women, were burned at the stake for the suspected practice of witchcraft. Number six, live burial. As its name implies, the victim could be buried up to his neck letting any animals, insects, or people kill him slowly. In another form of live burial, the victim would be left in a coffin to suffocate, or else were provided with an air tube and left to die of dehydration 
and the extreme fear of being buried alive. Number seven, sawing. If you guessed correctly, sawing a man in half starts at the crotch and goes all the way up to their head. Although there weren't any chainsaws back then, just a manual saw and a guy who was held down and actually sawed in half. There is no way to describe the pain. The first documented cases of sawing are around 451 BC in Rome. It was mainly Caligula who popularized the practice. This was at the height of his popularity. Number eight, drawn and quartered. To draw and quarter someone, you had to invest a lot of work. It's another punishment for high treason against the crown. So if you lived in England, around about 1283, a law was enacted to allow local authorities to use a horse to drag you through the streets and then disembowel you and pull your limbs off in public and with the law to back them up. This is capital punishment at its finest. But first, you had to convict someone in a court of law. Then you could tie them to a horse, drag them to the gallows and hang them, but not to the point of death because you were still allowed to disembowel them, cut off their head, and quarter them by tearing off their limbs. This was sometimes done by tying the offender's limbs to other horses. The horses were then driven in the opposite direction, 